What's up, you guys? Chase the Dark Sager, and today we're back with the third episode of What's on My Shelf, a series I kind of neglected on the channel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I did kind of neglect it, and I think today's episode shall be special, because if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that I'm trying to build a Yu-Gi-Oh! slash Pokemon shrine. I know. I know. It's all coming together now. Today, I feel like it's time to actually start making the Pokemon size Yu-Gi-Oh! Shrine. It's not going to be complete today. I'll tell you guys that right now. There are some more manga volumes I'm getting. There are going to be other series like maybe 5Ds coming along if I do decide to get that. But that will be going on this nasty mount shelf right here. I'll be replacing all this nasty man manga right here and taking it off and putting it with the Yu-Gi-Oh! slash Pokemon stuff. And I'm going to put other stuff on here besides Pokemon slash Yu-Gi-Oh! manga like the Pokeball that I just recently got, some of the Yu-Gi-Oh! figures I got on top right here, and some of the games I get for the Nintendo Switch. But before we get into it, before I start this video, I gotta say, if you are new to the channel, you have not already, go ahead, like the video, share the content, and if you are new to the channel overall, hit the subscribe button, hit the post notification bell, and I need everybody to go ahead, follow me on all my other social media platforms, all my links will be in the description down below. So, mm, let's get into it. Now, right here, guys, this is where I have all of my Yu-Gi-Oh! manga right here. Now, this is all going to be replaced, obviously, with probably some titles that I have down here. But this is about to be a little bit of a doozy because I have to put all these titles down here, which are ongoing series. I have to put them all up right here. And I got to take all this Yu-Gi-Oh! off and this Pokemon right here as well. Also, look at the Pokeball. I just recently got this Pokeball. This Pokeball is super nice. This bad boy costs about $100. Like I said, you get it for $100 on GameStop or Amazon. They got an Ultra Ball, a Master Ball, and a Great Ball. Got to get all of those, but like I said, $100. That's kind of steep. But I think I got this for like $75, so savings you already know then right here we have my Yu-Gi-Oh! Nendroid right here one of my prized possessions I love it I got it on a deal for like 20 bucks right here I have all of Yu-Gi-Oh! some of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists some of Millennium World all of R all of GX and some of I think Zexel or ArcV I don't know then I got some of the Omni buses and then I got some of the Pokemon mod right here like I said this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! slash Pokemon Shrine so the figures are gonna go on here the manga is gonna go on here some of the games are actually gonna go on here and some of the actual uh, cards that I've collected over the years I'm gonna go over here so Let's get to unboxing some figures. Let's get to taking some of this manga off. It's about to be a journey. And you guys, I, I'm pretty sure you guys could tell, like, you know, I had to wear this shirt because of, you know, Pokemon being on oh, Nintendo. Brother, this guy stinks! I'm sorry, let's get to the video. Please. First row is down. I don't know where I'm gonna put all this Nasty Man manga on this shelf right here. But I will be getting a new shelf for the Nasty Man manga because the Nasty Man manga was capped on here. You get on Pokemon, it should be capped, but the Nasty Man should never be capped. So that will be getting a new shelf on its own and that might get a new episode of What's On My Shelf. I don't know, you guys should let me know in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and check out some more manga so I can get some more space on this bad boy. I'm getting, I'm getting hot from all this nasty man heat that I have right here. And all this new Pokemon and anime Yu-Gi-Oh stuff that I'm about to put right there. But yeah, let's go ahead and keep going because this is a very tiring process. Alright guys, so now that this shelf is completely empty, I think it's time to deck it out with some figures and some manga. And I need to go get my game that I actually have for Yu-Gi-Oh from my room. And I gotta get the binder out too. But yeah, let's go ahead and deck this bad boy out and show you some of the unboxing for some of these figures right here. Alright guys, so, got done building the shelf up, and we decided, let's move all the Shonen Jump stuff, because as you can see, the Shonen Jump stuff isn't behind me anymore. I decided to move the Shonen Jump stuff on the actual Yu-Gi-Oh! size Pokemon Shrine, and it's time to unbox the figures, and that's going to actually be a while, and uh, it was already a while to organize the bottom of my shelves, that will probably be in the videos, but you probably won't see, but it was a while, and this is about to be a while, so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing part.
Alright guys, so after unboxing all the figures and moving all the manga over, I believe the ultimate Pokemon slash Yu-Gi-Oh! Shrine that's still being added to, to this day, has finally been built. And now it's time for me to finally give y'all a tour of the new Pokemon slash Yu-Gi-Oh! Shrine that I've been alluding to for all this time. Alright guys, so starting at the top of the shelf, right here we have my Art of XJ figures of Yu-Gi-Oh from Kotobuki and I gotta say right here we have Merrick, Kaiba, Dark Magician which is Yu-Gi's you know signature monster, Yu-Gi well Yami Yu-Gi and then we have Joey Wheeler all from the initial series of Yu-Gi-Oh Duelist right here and I gotta say that these figures right here costed about 70 to 90 dollars online so if you get on Amazon sure thing tours there's a whole bunch of sites so you can get these bad boys on and I believe that they're one seven scale each so for the price that I got these at these are some pretty good figures right here and this is the top of the shelf right here this is this is what's guarding the shelf right here the, this is what's guarding the shrine then right here we go to the actual first shelf of the shelf and right here we have Yu-Gi-Oh! the original run from one through seven then we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist right here I don't have all of it but you guys have seen most of these volumes already within the manga collection if you haven't seen that link will be in the description down below but then we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist right here we have my Yu-Gi-Oh! Nendroid right here which super dope I got that for like $20 like I said earlier in the video we got Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium World we got Yu-Gi-Oh! R which actually goes in between Duelist and Millennium World and then we have GX right here and then it also is continued down here then we have Zexel then we have or that's RV yeah <laughs> sorry RV then we have all the Yu-Gi-Oh Omni but well not all of them we have all the ones that I have I'm still missing a few but I'm not missing that many and then right here we have my infamous Pokeball which I really really gotta say that I really love now I already did like an unboxing b-rolls for this but honestly I really love this Pokeball like I said I got this bad boy for about $75 because I had some coupons and some deals for GameStop.com but this actually retails for about $100 so it's the Ultra Ball and the Great Ball the Master Ball was only limited to $500 so I believe it actually goes for $500 online so Hopefully I can get that one day, but not anytime soon. But then right here, and also look. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. that's fire that's fire i need to get the great ball and the ultra ball too to match with it and right here we have the pokemon omnibuses right here now i know the 10th volume is coming out soon i know it's the final volume and i'm actually going to be sad when it comes out because the space guys the space how am i going to put it in here i know i can move this out but i kind of want this back there you know to have a little backdrop for the pokeball itself but when the volume 10 comes out and i get volume 8 and 9 and 10 then i'll just take this out and i'll put the pokemon right here and i'll just put all the pokeballs to actually represent each i guess saga or uh, series or area region whatever you want to call it that represents each region then down here we have my shonen jump volumes now i didn't decide to really put it down right here but i thought to myself you know what this looks uneven so i had to move it right here because it just went from little to just big like that you get what i'm saying and then you guys corrected me on that i'm kind of sad that then you guys did but right here we have all of my shonen jump volumes that i have that i've been collecting so far this year and i gotta say that collecting shonen jump volumes from kino kaneya has been such a great experience and i gotta say that building this shrine right here oh it's awesome Oh, it's awesome. I probably need to get some LEDs right here, but honestly, I have some LEDs right there from the actual case right there, which I plan to put more figures in, but not anytime soon. And then if we move up, there's one more there's one more piece to this pie right here. You get what I'm saying? I can't have an ultimate shrine without a little ultimate backdrop action happening right here. And right here, we have this piece right here by Wizzy Akuza. I forgot what it's called, but I got this in my KamehameHaan hall right here. And honestly, it just looks so, so fire. And when you move directions, it changes the Duelist and their Egyptian God card. So right here, it has Yugi with Slifer. Then it has uh, Merrick with uh the wing dragon of raw and then if you move a different direction then it shows kaiba with obelisk i could barely get it from this position right here but uh, i believe it should be showing kaiba right there but yeah honestly this shrine was fun to build it took a lot of time and obviously i gotta get a new shelf for all my nasty man manga since i had to bunch it up right here and hopefully whenever i get a new nasty man shelf i'll be doing a video on that as well but right here this Yu-Gi-Oh slash pokemon shrine it's amazing it's great it's fantastic but that's it for the video guys if you guys did enjoy this video i need you guys to go ahead slap this video with a like share the content subscribe if you haven't already and hit that post notification bell if you have not already that way you can be notified whenever i come out with new content and i gotta give a huge shout out to my patreon pledges for all the love and support they give me i gotta say i highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me financially donating on patreon and i gotta give a huge shout out to the youtube members as well for also financially donating on the youtube side of things as well those two groups of people deserve the biggest darkest hate chug that I give them and i gotta give a huge shout out to broke boy gang aka the people that are liking the video while the ad is playing who are already commenting broke boy gang in the comment section that can boost me in the algorithm and they're just going ahead and supporting your boy throughout all the platforms i gotta say i highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me thank you guys for watching this video dark sage out peace ah! It should have been me, not him!